what's going on? Welcome to our at home body weight program. Today is week one, day one. Now, what we have is an upper body workout. Christian's going to take you through that in a little bit. What I'm going to do first is a warm up. Following the warm up will be some skill work, like I said, the workout, and then decompression. So let's make sure our body is nice and loose and ready to optimize our workout. We will start with some global hip circles. So I want you guys to stand nice and tall, then take a soft bend into your knees. Push your hips out to the side, push your hips all the way back, and then to the opposite side. Now just continue to move through this with me the entire time, okay? Again, we're pushing our hips all the way to the side wall, reaching those hips back all the way to the opposite wall, and then pushing those hips forward. Let's do a couple more reps. Remembering to breathe as we go through this. Awesome work, you guys. Now, when we get to the back here, just pause for a second, and then let's switch directions. Again, taking these hips out and around. Starting to loosen things up. Push, 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 push. There we go. Couple more. Awesome work, y'all. Let's finish this out. And then we'll move to our spine. So I'm going to turn this way so you guys can see. What we want to do on this one is pull our chest forward. Think proud chest, and then round out that upper back, pushing our hands away from our body. So again, pull forward, let's get a big inhale, and then exhale, round it on out. Pull forward, exhale, round, pull forward, and then press away. Now you can even add some shifting side to side here. So we'll pull forward, we'll round out our spine here, and then let's just rock right to left. Let's do that again. Pull forward, round it out, and then rock side to side. One more time. Pull forward, round it on out, and rock right to left. Good work, you guys. This next one is going to challenge our balance and challenge our hips. So I'm going to grab this chair to help me with my balance. If you have a chair or a wall, go ahead and place your hand on that to help you out. If not, you're just going to challenge your balance, and that's okay too. So what we want to do here is bring one foot out in front. We want to lock out our leg, and then we'll make these small controlled circles. We're going to do about five in each direction. Again, just stick with me here. Again, I'm staying tall. I'm keeping my leg locked out. Let's switch it up. Again, small and controlled. Can we lift that leg a little bit higher? Keep working for it. And relax. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Again, lock out this leg, bring the leg as high as you can where you feel like you can stay tall, and then we have these nice, small, controlled circles. <sighs> Continuing to breathe. Let's do two more, and we'll get our last five here. Switch directions. Can you keep that leg up? Can you keep your head up? You got this, breathe. Three, two, one. Shake that off for a second. Now we're going with our lateral hip circles. So I'm going to turn my toes in a little bit and then raise my leg up. You'll notice that my body kind of shifts. I want to fight that. So I'm going to stay tall, keep my leg as high as I can, and then I'll grab these circles again. I'm pushing through my heel. That's going to help me keep my leg blocked out. So keep kicking through that heel. You got it. Three, two, one, and let's switch. Let's reverse it. Here we go. Three, two, one. One excellent job. Now, let's do the same thing on the next side, okay? We want to turn the toes in, lift our leg up here, fighting to stay tall, and we have our hip circles. That's three, four, five, and switch. Maybe feeling a little bit of burning here on that opposite side. That's perfectly okay. You've got to keep fighting for it. Three, two, one. One, and relax. Good job, you guys. Now, we'll hit our ankles next, okay? So we'll do some ankle circles. I can still use this chair for balance or take my hands away, whatever feels good for you. From here, all we're going to do is point and extend our toes. So we're working the ankle, and after we do a few reps, we're going to make a circle, okay? So we'll point down, we'll scoop in, We'll bring those toes up and then scoop out. Let's keep working through that circle. Three, two, one. 
awesome job. Let's just reverse it. Other way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Shake that off. Other side. Again, we start here by just pointing and extending. And then we'll move into these circles. So let's point the toe down. Let's scoop the foot inside. Bring those toes towards your body and then scoop the foot away. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Reverse it. Last five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Now we'll move this chair out of the way. Find some space. This next move is called a hinge. We're going to add an overhead reach. So from the side, you'll see what I want to do is put a soft bend in my knees. I want to get the stretch here on the back side of my legs. So I'm going to push my hips back. My chest will fall forward. As I do that, I'm going to reach my hands overhead. Reach, 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 reach. And then stand nice and tall. Again, push your hips back. Reach those thumbs up towards the ceiling and stand tall. Good job, you guys. This is three right here. Reach back. Stand tall. Proud chest. Two more. Excellent work. And shake that off. Nicely done, you guys. Now, the next one we're going to do is rotating over our toes, allowing our arms to swing around our body, kind of like we're hugging ourselves. okay? So again, be nice and loose here. Turn those feet. We'll turn. Again, the arms are swinging around our body. We're staying tall through the top of our head. Let's keep it up here for another five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome job. Now, we're going to pick up the speed a little bit here. We're going into some high knees. All right, we'll be working for about 30 seconds. I'm going to go through this with you, so stick with me. We've got this, okay? On these high knees, we're going to be light on our toes, bringing our knees up. Ready? Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's breathe. Try to keep your eyes up, chest up, fast feet. You've got to keep those knees coming up nice and high. Keep working. Yeah, there we go. Don't slow down. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Ten more seconds. Awesome job, y'all. Five, four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Next up, we're going heels to our booty, okay? Butt kicks. 30 seconds here, we're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Again, I'm staying tall. I'm getting my arms involved, so I'm moving my arms. Just light on my toes, trying to bring those heels all the way up to my booty. We're breathing, we've got this. 10 more seconds. Here we go, keep it up. Last five. Four, three, two, one. Excellent job. Again, take a little breather. Next up, we have our Frankenstein kicks. So we're staying tall on this one. We're going to keep our legs straight as our opposite hand comes to the toes. Ready? That's two. We have ten right here. Five on each side. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Now we're going into ten body weight squats. So let's set our feet up about shoulder width apart. We're going to keep our chest up as we sink our hips down. This is two. I want to challenge you to keep your eyes and your chest up. So let's take our hands out in front. That's three, four, five. Keeping your spine long. How low can you go? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Excellent work, you guys. I know I'm feeling warm. I hope you're feeling warm. Now it's time to get into a, our skill of the day. So I'm going to have Christian come and take over. Awesome work, man. Great Thank job, you. everybody. Great job. Hopefully we're feeling nice and warm right now, guys. Like Natalie said, we're going to go into our skill of the day. Now, parents, don't just think this is for the kids. 
I'm assuming that parents like to stay active with their kids and like playing against them on the basketball court. So use this drill as a time to practice some of your defense. And now for some of my athletes out there, we're going to get into some lateral shuffles. Okay, This is something that we commonly see in the game of basketball, some defensive slides. Now, we don't have a court, but we do have some space here around us. So here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to clear some space out side to side. And if you need some reference here, I could say about one, two, three, four, five. Five is really enough. If you have any more space side to side, that's great. I'm going to show you slow and then we'll pick up the speed, okay? I'm going to keep my chest facing tall, okay? Not all the way up, but I'm going to allow my chest to kind of face here towards the ground as well. So a little bit in the middle between facing down and facing all the way up. So let's find that middle sweet spot, okay? Now from here, all I'm going to do is get into a little bit of lateral shuffle. Now I want y'all to focus on when we stop and change direction, and I come here, I don't want my chest to roll over my planting foot. When I stop and change direction, I want my chest inside of my planting knee. So again, not here, but when I pause, I want to be inside of this planting knee. So here's what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to set the timer. We're going to go 20 seconds as fast as we can side to side, and then we'll take a 10 second rest. We're gonna do that three times here today, okay? Let's get ourselves ready. Parents, kids, let's get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Stay low, keep that chest right inside that planting leg. Do not let your chest go over that bent knee. Almost there, guys. More than halfway, come on, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Take 10 seconds. Shake that off. We got two more rounds coming up, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, and go. You guys are doing great. Remember, control the chest. Have the strength in your legs to stop yourself and decelerate. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, shake that off. 10 seconds of rest. Big inhale, slow exhale. Five, four, three, two, and let's work. Staying low, chest right inside that bent knee. Halfway, almost there. Five, four, Three, two, one. Everybody with me, let's breathe. Slow our exhale. Three more times. Two more. One more. Awesome work, everybody. If you need some water, grab some water. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. We're gonna get into our workout of the day now, okay? Let's make our way to the ground. And what I'm gonna do is basically take you guys through a little bit of a practice round, okay? I'm gonna show you level one and level two. Level one, little bit easier. Level two, little bit harder, okay? So first thing we have is our push-ups, okay? Level one, I'm gonna go on my knees, okay? and doing my push-ups all the way from bent elbows to locked out arms, okay? If I'm doing level two, I go onto my toes, okay? And I'll do the push-up from here. Now, here's where it gets challenging, okay? We have three different levels. Our rookie, okay? You're gonna be doing five push-ups. Our all-star, seven push-ups. And our MVP, you're going to be doing 10 push-ups in one round. Let me show you the other movements, and then we'll do this together, okay? The next one is going to be our mobile tabletop, okay? Level one, on my back, feet are flat. I'm going to drive my hips up here into this bridge position, okay? Now, my level one, I'm sorry, my level two, 
I'm going to go fingertips back behind me, okay? And then I'm going to drive my hips up and drive my knees forward, okay? Now, again, I'm going to have three different levels here. If you're a rookie, we got four. If you're an all-star, we got six. If you're an MVP, we have eight. Now, the last thing that we have here, okay, is our pull plank. So let's go onto our elbows. Level one, I'm gonna have my knees on the ground, and all I'm gonna do is pull myself forward, push myself back. It's a very small movement right here, okay? My hips and my shoulders are staying in the same long line, okay? If you're doing level two, take your knees off the ground, okay? We're gonna be here. I'm gonna pull forward, I'm gonna push back. Pull forward, push back, pull forward, push back. Now, three different levels, guys. My rookie, you got five reps going back and forward, that's one. Now, my second level, my all-star, we're gonna be doing eight. And my MVP, we're gonna be doing 12. Now, the whole workout, okay, is gonna go for 10 minutes. It's called the every minute on the minute. That means every minute is a new round. What our goal is, is to pick those three movements, do them as fast as we can, so that we got about 15 to 20 seconds of rest before our next minute and before our next round. Let's go ahead and do this together so we can all see how a round would go, okay? Let's make our way to the ground. Remember, push-ups is our first move, either on your knees or on your toes, okay? Let's start here, three, two, one, and then let's go for a push-up. I'm gonna do the MVP level, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the next one, mobile tabletop, okay? One, again, I'm going to do the MVP level. So I'm gonna do eight, five, six, seven, eight, and then pull plank. Again, I'm gonna do MVP. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, now I got about 20 seconds until my next minute, right? That was round one, so I'm gonna shake that off, okay? I'm gonna get myself ready. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just gonna do it at level one now. I'm still gonna do all the reps at an MVP level, okay? We're gonna start at round two here, guys, in five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I'm gonna get onto my back into a hip bridge. I got eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I'm gonna go right into my pool plank. Again, on my knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now again, guys, I just showed you two full rounds. I'm shaking that off. I'm gonna keep going with you guys for another eight more rounds, okay? But now I'm gonna do everything at a level two, and again, I'm working at the MVP level. 10 seconds, let's get back to the ground. We got round three coming up. We got our push-ups. sound good? Four, three, two, one. Again, guys, if you're a rookie, you're gonna get five reps. If you're all-star, you're doing seven. And if you're MVP, you got 10 with me. My mobile tabletop. Rookie, you got four. All-star, you got six. MVP, you got eight. Pool planks, if you're a rook, you got five. If you're an all-star, we got eight. Your MVP, we have 12. Almost there, one, two, perfect. And again, guys, that was round three. I'm trying to go as quick as I can. I'm trying to finish as fast as I can because the quicker I finish, the more rest I have into that next round. 15 seconds. Don't worry about how many reps you're doing or how many reps I'm doing. You stay in control of your body and you challenge yourself. If you can do more reps and more rounds, then go ahead and do that, okay? Listen to your body. Two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Perfect, y'all. We go right back to that mobile table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Then I go into my pull plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Got it. Great job. Shake that off, y'all. Again, I'm finishing every round in about like 40 seconds. So that means I got about 20 seconds of rest before my next round. Okay. Whew. Again, trying to slow my breath. This is round five right here, okay guys? Round five right here. In four, three, two, one. I got push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Guys, stay in it. Ladies, fellas, we got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight, perfect everybody, pull plank. You know what the three drills are, y'all, okay? The three drills will never change. The only thing that you are changing is how many reps you're doing, or if you're doing level one or level two, okay? Again, I got about 20 seconds until round six. You guys are doing great. If your parent is right there with you, give them a high five. If you're breathing and sweating just like me, we know we're in a good spot, okay? Slow my breath down, get myself ready for round six here. In five, four, three, two, one. Now guys, let's say that I've been doing everything at the MVP level, but you know what, I'm getting tired. So I'm gonna come back down to all-star now, right? So I'm doing seven of my push-ups, and then I'm doing six with my mobile tabletop. That's six there, and then again, I'm feeling tired. Oh man, I gotta slow down, so I'm taking my time. I'm not gonna do MVP anymore. I'm gonna stay at the All Star. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Again, guys, whew, I felt myself getting a little fatigued. So then, what I did, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna let my ego get in the way. I still wanna perform at a high level, and I don't want my form to go bad. So I'm gonna come down a level, and that's okay. And now, now that we're going into round seven, if I feel comfortable, I'll go back up to an MVP level, okay? Three, two, one. And again, you can go from your knees, so there's nothing wrong with putting the knees down and going at level one, okay? That's okay, though, because I'm still going to get 10 reps. And my mobile tabletop, instead of going mobile table, I'm going to go onto my back. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And again, I'm going to go to my pull plank now. I'm going to go maybe for my knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Perfect, everybody. Shake that off. We got round eight coming up. Okay, I got 15 seconds to that next round. I'm always a fan of shaking things out. It helps my muscles recover in between rounds, okay? Five seconds. We got three more rounds left, y'all. Two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mobile tabletop. And now, guys, at any time, if y'all want to take a round off, if you guys want to pause the video, then just pause it. That's okay, listen to your body. We gotta build that awareness. That's huge for us, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Perfect, man, you guys are killing it at home, man. I'm sweating, I'm burning. We got less than about 20 seconds left before that next round. So again, I'm shaking it off. Guys, we're almost there. We got round nine coming up, okay? Whew, towel off, grab some water, five seconds, let's get it going. Round nine here. In three, two, one, and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
seven, eight, nine, ten. Awesome work, y'all. Mobile tabletop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect, everybody. On to my pull plank. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. One more round, guys. Again, just re emphasizing rookie, all star, and MVP. Each one of y'all are going to be doing different amounts of reps. Push ups, five rookie, seven all star, ten for my MVPs. Okay? Stick with me here. We got one more round, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect, everybody. Almost home, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect, everybody. Pull plank here, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Guys, great job. If you're working, keep working. Keep working. We still have 20 seconds until we have time to finish that up. If you finish up, towel off real quick, okay? Awesome work. Give some high fives if you got some people around you. I'm going to have Natalie lead the decompression. Please be sure to listen to how she's cueing your breath and how she's taking the time to stretch y'all on out. Awesome work. Here we go, Nat. Good job. Thank you, Natalie. Good Woo! job. I got tired just watching. <laughs> Excellent job, you guys. Now it's time to stretch out and just decompress. So let's take our hands, interlock our hands behind our back here. Go ahead and roll your shoulders back and down as we just drop one ear down to our shoulder at a time. Now, during decompression, we want to slow things down. So I want you to try to slow down your breath. Move nice and easy. Be very gentle. Continue to move with me. We'll do this a couple more times each way. Awesome. Then from here, what we're going to do is just take one hand overhead here. We're going to grab her elbow and try to reach this hand back behind as we take three breaths. One, two, three. Shake that off. Other side. Grab for the elbow. Reach that hand behind your back. One, two, Three. Awesome. Our last one here, since we did a lot on the upper body, we'll take our hand across our body, pull this elbow and shoulder down, and we'll take three inhales, three exhales. Pull a little further. Last one. Awesome, y'all. Here we go. Other arm and inhale. Two more. Last one. Awesome job. Now, I want to just leave you with this. I want to encourage you to start a journal, and I'm going to prompt you at the end of each workout with something that I want you to think about, okay? Today's journal prompt is going to be what makes a good teammate. So again, think about that. What makes a good teammate? What do you want to see in your teammate, and what would you like to see in yourself? Jot it down, and maybe even share with your friends and family. Lastly, we have a book of the month. The book of the month is called Mind Gym. This book is an athlete's guide to inner excellence. We know that it's important not only to work out our physical body, but our mental capacity as well. And that's what this is all about. So it's going to help you on the court and off the court. I hope you guys take a look. Y'all have an excellent day. Good job.